shouting at each other. That's wonderful. Isn't that a great collection of animals? Oh, look at the ostriches up. Hello, Michelle, you're 14 years old and you're in Johannesburg and I can only assume that you're therefore on your school holidays, which must be a profound relief to you, especially as winter in Johannesburg is not something that is uh, necessarily very pleasant. Now, Michelle, you want to know if ostriches wave their wings in order to impress the ladies. They do indeed wave their wings to impress the ladies. Now, Michelle, what you will notice as you get into your teen years, of course, is that boys are roughly the same. They don't have wings to wave, but they'll do things like wave their muscles and tell, tell tall stories. And it is in very much the same vein that they do that. So it's just to show off a bit and see if they can't convince the ladies that they're worthwhile. David, can you see that wildebeest on the standing on a termite? Well, he's got himself on a perch. He's just to the left of this lot. He just looks rather comedic. <laughs> bah, bah. I mean, the sound is just wonderful. <laughs> oh, I love it. Some Grant's gazelles off to the right after that. All righty, we'll just quickly have a look at the Grant's gazelles and then head across to Baron, who has managed to find himself. I'm not going to use the most common dink used for this animal. I'm going to say he's found an egg and scorpion eater. <laughs> <laughs> 